assalamu alaikum everyone today in this video i am going to show you three interactive free resources that will make your classroom more attractive that every teacher must know if you want to engage your students properly in learning process to aapko ye free resources ka zarur pata hona chahiye so just come with me i will show you that which are these resources so first of all for creating these free resources you must have a list of your students whichever uh, list it will be like for every class you can create these free resources so first of all i have spin the wheel so as you can see here are just uh, the different uh, options over here if i want to spin the wheel it it will just choose the particular alphabet for example it has chosen a result a if i want ki main isko is list se remove kar dun ki for example if student a has been asked a question to usse dobara koi question na pucha jaye so i will just click remove and i will close over it okay so this is how you can uh, create or ask different quizzes by using these spin wheels so for instance i have this list and i will just copy this list from here and i will just first of all go and delete the previous results and after going to edit button i will just paste the list that i have already with me for my students i will just paste it over here and you can see this spin wheel is having the names of the students so first of all i will just so it will choose the name of the particular For instance, it has chosen Musa. So, if I want to make this uh, uh, spin wheel, me say remove. Kar I will just click remove, and I will then close. So, if you want to, uh, along with this spin wheel, having some names of the particular students, so there should be an other wheel having the names of the topics. So, I will just go over here, and I will add another spin. Wheel. So, you can see that there is another spin wheel. I can just add some topics over here. so the names of the topics i have written there for example i have written systems and diseases afterwards i will uh, write states of matter it's up to you how many topics you are going to assign to your uh, students so you will just write the names of the topics uh, like this okay so i have written few topics uh, over here you can see that these topics have come over the spin wheel so if i want to like uh, select that which student is going to answer uh, the question related to these topics so i will just spin the so you can see that in no time this spin the wheel will show me the name of the student i'm going to ask the question so i will just remove the name of the student from the list so that's why every student can get equal chance so i will just select the topic from which that particular student is being asked the question so it has topic as states of matter so i will not just remove the topic from the list because i have particular uh, topics assigned to every student so i will not i will just keep the name of the topic over here so i will just close if you want that both the wheels spin simultaneously i will just click spin all so you can see wheels are spinning at the same time and it will choose the name of the student as well as the name of the topic so i can ask shah jahan the question related to states of matter so i will just remove the name of shah jahan and only the topic will be remaining in this spin wheel so i guess you will enjoy conducting this sort of activity in your class okay now we will see an other interactive resource that is random name picker jo ki aap log apni class mein kisi bhi way mein isko carry out karwa sakte hain kisi bhi activity mein for example if you want to carry out an activity and you want to choose at which a particular student will come and perform that activity first so you can uh, like carry out this name picker resource and you can choose the name so first of all i will have a list and i will just copy the li this list from over here and i will paste it okay so there are some settings if i want that uh, two students come simultaneously i will just select the number of winners and i will um, like for example if i want that 
I have to remove the name of the student after being selected. So I will just check this box and I will just pick the random name. So I, you can see that in total names, there are 20 total names and they, it has chosen these two students. These are random name pickers. So I will just pick again. You can see that now the total number of students are 18 because it has already chosen two students. So it has again chosen. I will like pick again and again and I will just call these two students for performing particular activity. Uh, this is the last but not the least resource that, uh, and uh, using this resource you can create uh, different groups of the students for uh, carrying out different activities. So uh, this uh, picker wheel will help you to uh, make different groups in a few minutes. So uh, what you have to do here is you have to uh, input the names of the students over here and uh, here are a few settings and after as a result you will uh, get a few groups. So for example if I put uh, the input uh, the name over here like for example I am writing. So what I have to do I have to uh, write the names one by one over here and it will take a lot of time. So uh, I will just uh, actually I have a list of the uh, pupils of my class so I will just copy the names of the students and when I have uh, pasted the names of the students over here uh, they are 20 in numbers so uh, as I have pasted them so I will uh, just add the list so here you can see that the pupils are added over here. So uh, here I will just uh, do a few settings. I will distribute the students on a default basis. It will just pick randomly some students. I have 20 students and I want to make, uh, you can say five groups having four people in number. So here I can set the uh, names of the groups. You can uh, set the names of the group uh, uh, on your own will. I have set the names of the groups as leopards, tigers, rhinos, dolphins and markers. It's up to you uh, that what you set the names for your team members. So I will just save and I have set all the, uh, the required requirements. I have just input the names and I have set uh, I have to uh, did the settings. So I will just start and you can see that in no time it will create different groups. So here you can see that it has created five groups having four numbers in each. I can just save this as image just to uh, like uh, to uh, get it uh, get its record. So I will just mark as done. So this is the last resource that we can uh, use for creating uh, the groups for carrying out some activities. So these are some three free resources that we have learned today. First one was spin the wheel and the second one was a random name picker and the third resource that we used today it was about the team picker wheel. So I hope you enjoyed learning today. So don't forget to uh, like, subscribe and share my channel. Thank you.